Cruz was born on July 3, 1962, in Syracuse, New York, to electrical engineer Thomas Cruz Mapother 3193 for 1984 and special education teacher Mary Lee Annie Pfeiffer, 1936-2017. His parents were both from Louisville, Kentucky, and had English, German, and Irish ancestry. Cruz has three sisters named Lee Ann, Marion, and Cass. One of his cousins, William Mapother, is also an actor who has appeared alongside Cruz in five films. Cruz grew up in near poverty and had a Catholic upbringing. He later described his father as a merchant of chaos, a bully, and a coward who beat his children. He elaborated, My father was the kind of person where, if something goes wrong, they kick you. It was a great lesson in my life how he'd lull you in, make you feel safe and then bang. For me, it was like, there's something wrong with this guy. Don't trust him. Be careful around him. Cruz's biological father died of cancer in 1984. In total, Cruz attended 15 schools in 14 years. Cruz spent part of his childhood in Canada when his father took a job as a defense consultant with the Canadian Armed Forces. His family moved in late 1971 to Beacon Hill, Ottawa. He attended the new Robert Hopkins Public School for his fourth and fifth grade education. He first became involved in drama in fourth grade, under drama teacher George Steinberg. He and six other boys put on an improvised play to music called ID at the Carlton Elementary School Drama Festival. Drama organizer Val Wright was in the audience and later said that the movement and improvisation were excellent, a classic ensemble piece. In sixth grade, Cruz went to Henry Monroe Middle School in Ottawa. That year, his mother left his father, taking Cruz and his sisters back to the United States. In 1978, she married Jack South. Cruz briefly took a Catholic church scholarship and attended the St. Francis Seminary in Cincinnati, Ohio. He aspired to become a Franciscan priest before leaving after a year. Priests at the seminary have said Cruz chose to leave the school when his family relocated again. However, a former classmate said that they both asked to leave after getting caught taking liquor. In his senior year of high school, he played football for the varsity team as a linebacker, but was caught from the squad after getting caught drinking beer before a game. At age 18, with the blessing of his mother and stepfather, Cruz moved to New York City to pursue an acting career. After working as a busboy in New York, he went to Los Angeles to try out for television roles. He signed with CAA and began acting in films. He made his film debut in a bit part in the 1981 film Endless Love, followed by a major supporting role as a crazed military academy student in TAPS later that year. Cruz was originally supposed to appear as a background actor but his role was expanded after impressing director Harold Becker. In 1983, Cruz was part of the ensemble cast of Francis Ford Coppola's The Outsiders. That same year, he appeared in All the Right Moves and Risky Business, which has been described as a Generation X classic and a career maker for Tom Cruise. He also played the male lead in the Ridley Scott film Legend, released in 1985. Cruz followed up Top Gun with Martin Scorsese's The Color of Money 1986, which came out the same year, and which paired him with Paul Newman. Their chemistry won praise among critics, with the Washington Post writing, One of the subtle achievements of both Cruz's and Newman's performances is that you feel that both of them are genuinely top-notch pool hustlers. In 1988, Cruz starred in Cocktail, a film that was a box office success but failed with critics. His performance earned him a nomination for the Razzie Award for Worst Actor. Later that year, he starred with Dustin Hoffman in Barry Levinson's Rain Man, which won the Academy Award for Best Film and Cruise the Kansas City Film Critics Circle Award for Best Supporting Actor. In 1989, Cruz portrayed real-life paralyzed Vietnam War veteran Ron Kovic in Oliver Stone's War Epic Born on the 4th of July. Film critic Roger Ubert of the Chicago Sun-Times wrote, Nothing Cruz has done will prepare you for what he does in Born on the 4th of July. His performance is so good that the movie lives through it.
Stone is able to make his statement with Cruz's face and voice and doesn't need to put everything into the dialogue. The performance earned him a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor, Motion Picture Drama, the Chicago Film Critics Association Award for Best Actor, the People's Choice Award for Favorite Motion Picture Actor, a nomination for BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role, and Cruz's first Best Actor. Cruz's next films were Days of Thunder 1990 and Far and Away 1992, both of which co-starred then-wife Nicole Kidman as his love interest, followed by the legal thriller The Firm, which was a critical and commercial success. In 1994, Cruz starred along with Brad Pitt, Antonio Banderas and Christian Slater in Neil Jordan's Interview with the Vampire, a gothic drama or horror film that was based on in Rice's best-selling novel. The film was well-received, although Rice was initially quite outspoken in her criticism of Cruz, having been cast in the film, as Julian Sands was her first choice. Upon seeing the film, however, she paid $7,740 for a two-page ad in Daily Variety praising his performance and apologizing for her previous doubts about him. In 1996, Cruz starred as super spy Ethan Hunt in the reboot of Mission Impossible, which he also produced. The film was directed by Brian De Palma and was a box office success. Although it received criticism regarding the Jim Phelps character being a villain despite being a protagonist of the original television series, film critic Stephen Holden of the New York Times praised Cruz's performance, declaring, Tom Cruise has found the perfect superhero character on which to graft his breathlessly gung-ho screen personality. In the same year, Cruz took on the title role in Cameron Crowe's sports drama Jerry Maguire, playing a sports agent in search of love. He stars opposite Renee Zellweger and Cuba Gooding J.R.B. The film was a massive financial success, with Cruz earning a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor Motion Picture Musical or Comedy and his second nomination for an Academy Award for Best Actor. In 1999, Cruz costered with Kidman in Stanley Kubrick's erotic and psychological drama film Eyes Wide Shut. Peter Bradshaw of The Guardian praised both Cruz and Kidman on their performances, writing, Cruz in particular lays himself open in that fiercely committed way that he tries everything as an actor, 35. That same year he took a rare supporting role, as a motivational speaker, Frank T.J. Mackey. In Paul Thomas Anderson's Magnolia 1999, Rolling Stone film critic Peter Travers heaped praise on Cruz, writing, Cruz is a revelation, fully deserving of the shower of superlatives coming his way. Cruz seeds with the chaotic energy of a wounded animal he's devastating. For his performance, he received another Golden Globe and nomination for an Academy Award. In 2000, Cruz returned as Ethan Hunt in the second installment of the Mission Impossible films, Mission Impossible 2. The film was helmed by Hong Kong director John Woo and branded with his kung fu style. It continued the series' success at the box office, taking in $547 million worldwide. Unlike its predecessor, it was the highest-grossing film of the year, but had a mixed critical reception. Cruz received an MTV Movie Award for Best. His next five films were major critical and commercial successes. The following year, Cruz starred in the romantic thriller Vanilla Sky to All One with Cameron Diaz and Pan Lope Cruz. In 2002, Cruz starred in the dystopian science fiction action film Minority Report, which was directed by Steven Spielberg and based on the science fiction short story by Philip K. Dick. In 2003, he starred in Edward Zwick's period action drama The Last Samurai, for which he received a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor. In 2004, Cruz received critical acclaim for his performance as Vincent in Collateral. The critical consensus states that driven by director Michael Mann's trademark visuals and a lean, villainous performance from Tom Cruise, Collateral is a stylish and compelling noir thriller. In 2005, Cruise worked again with Steven Spielberg in War of the Worlds, a loose adaptation of the H.G. Wells novel of the same name 
which became the fourth highest grossing film of the year with $591.4 million worldwide. Also in 2005, he was a nominee for the People's Choice Award for Favorite Male Movie Star, and the winner of the MTV Generation Award. Cruz was nominated for seven Saturn Awards between 2002 and 2009, winning once. Nine of the ten films he starred in during the decade made over $100 million at the box office. In 2006, he returned to his role as Ethan Hunt in the third installment of the Mission Impossible film series, Mission Impossible 3. The film was more positively received by critics than the previous films in the series and grossed nearly $400 million at the box office. In 2007, Cruz took a rare supporting role for the second time in Lions for Lambs, which was a commercial disappointment. Cruz played the central role in the historical thriller Valkyrie, released on December 25, 2008, to box office success. In March 2010, Cruz completed filming the action comedy Night and Day, in which he re-teamed with former co-star Cameron Diaz. The film was released on June 23, 2010. On February 9, 2010, Cruz confirmed that he would star in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, the fourth installment in the Mission Impossible series. The film was released in December 2011. To high critical acclaim and box office success, unadjusted for ticket price inflation, it was Cruz's biggest commercial success to that date. On May 6, 2011, Cruz was awarded a humanitarian award from the Simon Wiesenthal Center and its Museum of Tolerance for his work as a dedicated philanthropist. In mid-2011, Cruz started shooting the movie Rock of Ages 2012, in which he played the fictional character Stacy Jacks. The film was released in June 2012 and was a rare box office misstep for Cruz. Cruz, however, received positive reviews for his performance, with Variety's film critic Justin Chang writing, channeling the likes of Axe Rose and Keith Richards with his tattoos, heavy furs and even heavier eyeshadow. Cruz clearly relishes the opportunity to play against type, even as he sends up his world's biggest movie star identity, displaying a cock of the rock strut that viewers haven't seen since his turn in Magnolia. Cruz starred as Jack Reacher in the film adaptation of British author Lee Child's 2005 novel One Shot. The film was released on December 21, 2012. It met with positive reviews from critics and was a box office success, grossing $217 million worldwide. In 2013, he starred in the science fiction film Oblivion, based on director Joseph Kaczynski's graphic novel of the same name. The film met with mixed reviews and grossed $286 million worldwide. It also starred Morgan Freeman and Olga Kurilenko. In 2014, Cruz starred in the science fiction action film Edge of Tomorrow, which received positive reviews and grossed over $370 million. In 2015, Cruz returned as Ethan Hunt in the fifth installment of the Mission Impossible series, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, which he also produced. Returning cast members included Simon Pegg as Benji and Jeremy Renner as William Brandt, with Christopher McQuarrie as director. The film earned and was a commercial success. Cruz starred in the 2017 reboot of Boris Karloff's 1932 horror movie The Mummy. The new film, also titled The Mummy, received negative reviews and flopped at the box office. In 2018, Cruz again reprised Ethan Hunt in the sixth film in his franchise, Mission Impossible Fallout. The film was more positively received by critics than the previous films in the series and grossed over $791 million at the box office. Unadjusted for ticket price inflation, it was Cruz's biggest commercial success to date. In May 2020, it was reported that Cruz would be starring in and producing him in May 2020. Doug Lyman would be directing, writing, and co-producing. Both will fly to the International Space Station as part of a future Axiom space mission in a SpaceX Dragon to spacecraft. In May 2021, 
Cruz protested against the Hollywood Foreign Press Association HFPA by returning all three of his Golden Globe Awards in light of controversy surrounding the HFPA, particularly its lack of diversity, specifically no black members, and ethical questions related to financial benefits to some of its members. In 2022, Cruz reprised his role as Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell in Top Gun Maverick, a film which he also produced. The film premiered at the Cannes Film Festival, where Cruz earned an honorary Palme d'Or. The film was released to widespread critical praise, with many reviewers deeming it superior to its predecessor. The film broke several box office records upon its release, earning over $1 billion, becoming the highest-grossing film of his career. Cruz earned $100 million for the film when combining ticket sales, his salary, and his cut of home entertainment rentals and streaming revenues. Cruz reprised his role as Ethan Hunt in Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning, which was released in theaters on July 12, 2023. The film received critical acclaim, but was a box office disappointment due to the box office and cultural phenomenon dubbed Barbenheimer, which was the same day release of Christopher Nolan's historical epic film Oppenheimer and Greta Gerwig's fantasy comedy Barbie. Peter D. Bruge of Variety praised Dead Reckoning for its performances, action sequences, and a satisfying ending, writing, This outing may be one half of a two-part finale, but it gives audiences enough closure to stand on its own. In February 2024, it was announced that Cruz would star in a new film directed by Alejandro G. Irie too. This is set to be his first film at Warner Bros. Pictures for the first time in 10 years.